Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Crazy Bake Cookmas 8. We are doing iced cook Christmas biscuits. We've got the ingredients set up and um, yeah, jump straight into the video. Yep. <clears throat> so, here's all the ingredients. We have 100 grams of margarine. 100 grams of um, light brown sugar. We have one egg. We have um, a teaspoon of mixed spice. 275 grams of plain flour. And two uh, teaspoons of milk. So, I'm gonna mix it together. We're gonna mix it together. <clears throat> need a mixing bowl. Uh, or just use this. Is okay, it yeah. big enough or? Yeah, we use that. Or you want it smaller? I hope it's bigger, sorry. No, it should be alright. In a bigger one. Don't know if all the flour's gonna fit in a little bowl. You might want a spatula to just scrape them. Yes. Change it to a bigger bowl. Just give this bowl wipe up. Put some of the sugar this side, hopefully it won't stick as much. It's stuck in. It's been out for a while. Yeah, it's been out for a while. There you go. I won't have that many bowls, see they? That's a lot. Yep. I do. Just crash. Bigger bowl, that's better. <laughs> there we go. So, cream that together. Cream your sugar in your your margarine. Yeah, now we need to put in the egg. You can spend longer doing it if you like. And crack the egg in. And mix that together. And while mum's doing that, I'm gonna put I'm just gonna put the flour into this bowl with your mixed spice and just um just mix this all together and then you can add this into your wet ingredient over there which mum's doing. Right, that's it. Now that can go straight into there. That is well mixed, but it is. Mm. 
Do I use a mixer? <laughs> or like your bloom whisk? I could do. Probably be easier. Yeah. <laughs> Save your wrist aching. It's easier at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> Let it bit by bit. It? it saves a dust cloud. Sure. <laughs> You're probably thinking, why are you using the bloom whisk to make biscuits? Yeah. Actually saves your hands getting dirty. <laughs> yeah. A bit weird, but it is but you don't get dirty hands until you have to. <clears throat> now, once you've got it to uh, the best you can, then you're going to tip it out onto a floured surface and bring it all together. But actually. You probably could just mix it in the bowl yeah, if you didn't want to throw went. it out on a floured surface. Let me use my bloom whisk for what? Bring it together so you don't get hand, dirty hands. Just saved your hands really. So yeah, just tip it out onto a floured surface. I'll just try and combine it a bit better. You do that when you mix it out, honey. Mm. That is giving a wash. Just gonna stop with folk. Now I gotta get it all off. Right guys, so there it is. Um I now put the milk in as you notice. No, you only um, only need the milk if it's too dry. Um other than that you don't need to, so tip it out on the floor. I'm getting my hands in there now just to combine it. As much as I can. Put on the floured surface. Make sure we get that. This way. And then combine it all together. And then you wrap it in clean film and stick it in the freezer for half an hour. I haven't needed um so I'm just gonna grab some clean film quickly. So here we go, got some clean film. And now we're just gonna wrap it up Stuck and um, my board. Yeah, that's why it has to go in the freezer. Just to harden up or well, firm up a little bit so you um can actually roll it. Yeah. There we go. There we go. That's ready to go. In the freezer. Yeah, so I'm gonna put that in the freezer quickly. Oh. Right, so that's in the freezer. We've just washed our hands. Now we need some baking paper. Ba parchment. Ba um, baking paper. We've got parchment. And then there. yeah, baking paper. And then by magic, out of the freezer, what we done earlier off of camera <laughs> just like magic so we don't have to actually wait half an hour it's going to be just as quick as you watch it today yeah and then rub that out and then roll it out the rolling pin's over there where's my rolling pin over here probably is going to be a little bit tough Also, at this point, you're going to, um, when you've rolled it out, 
Um, you're going to want to put this... And yours is a different shape to mine. Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm not kidding. You've got to put it on gas mark 4, 180 Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit, and they cook for roughly about um, 14 minutes. So I'm going to preheat the oven. Right, can't quite see how thin I've gone. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that's fine. So, right, so yeah, that's that all nice and done. Take the top layer off. Get yourself a nice Christmassy cutter. We are doing stars, and then cut them up. Hopefully, you try and keep your. <clears throat> It's still roughly the same size, but... Yeah, it doesn't matter if not. And also, this is just a little bit. You're going to get a lot more out of what, obviously, you've just put in the f freezer. Yeah. Um, this is just a little bit to show you, really. Mm, I think I've squeezed another one out of that. That's right. And that's it. Peel it off. Place it on the tray. Now you might want to flour your tray or... Um, yeah, if you haven't got a, a non-stick one. But this is a really good non-stick one, so... I don't need to. Then you can just bring that together. Yeah, and then you can just re-roll re it out. Pay for that. Until you're happy. Yeah, until you got enough for your tray or how many you want. It can be awkward. Yeah. Saves your sides to get messy. Yes. <laughs> Saves a lot of mess. Look at that. Bit thin at that end, so. Older. That oh, doesn't there. matter. It's still going to cook. The thin ones might just burn slightly, but. Yeah, I think I rubbed there. Doesn't matter. Put one. There you yeah. go. Or you could do small it ones. Get smaller, you obviously will need not to rub so much. But you can still, obviously this won't be your problem, because I've, um, you'll have more dough. And then, if not, this is a double one, so you can actually flip it over and just, uh, Do some sore ones. Yeah. There you go. Look at that. So, I'm going to put that in the oven. Gas what for 180 Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit for um, 14 minutes. You literally can just do that with your hands. Oh, for an hour. What am I doing? Use up every bit if you like. Right, so I'm just going to set the oven quickly. Obviously, the little ones will cook quicker. Yeah. And that's it. I could probably get another big bun out of that. Yeah, squeeze it on there. Squeeze it on there. There you go. And that can just go straight into, obviously, your food waste, if you do food waste. I'll just roll it up my bowl. Right. So that's going to go straight into the oven now for 14 minutes. 
Right guys, so that's gone into the oven now. For the icing, um, I'm gonna just show you how you do, um, just read through it how you do it, because I've already actually already made some. Um, just because it takes a little while. But yeah, so this is the icing for the biscuits. Now it does actually set hard. Unless you put, you should put a bit of clean film over yeah, it. Yeah, or a bit of clean film. But I'm gonna show you how, go through what you do. So, you're gonna need two egg whites, 450 grams of icing sugar and green food coloring. So you add your icing in and your two egg whites and your food coloring and then mix it together on a slow speed because obviously you're gonna get a massive dust cloud. And yeah, that's it really. So that's that. And we're just trying to shorten this video down a bit because obviously we're busy people today. And then, when they are done in the oven, this is what you get. Again, ones that we already pre-done. So these are your biscuits. You get thin ones and some chunkier ones. So, you can put this into a piping bag if you wanted to. Or you could just use a knife which is a lot quicker um to Spatula. to slap it on your biscuit slap it so let's show them how it's done okay the experiment is of doing it all right Ooh, i'm greedy i want it a lot way too much that's all right oh no never mind you know Then remember, it's not got to be perfect. She says, perfection in it. Like so. And then you can get another plate, take your ice biscuits, this is a good one for the little kiddies, and get yourself some Christmas sprinkles. Place them on there, give it a little pat down. And if I'd got a spatula out. That would have been actually done perfect. There you go. It's not got to be about that. This is for it can do with your little kids at home. So yeah, so show them again. We we'll show you one more time. You want me to carry on? Yeah, show them, and then um, we can finish Ours is them obviously off. Obviously, a bit thicker because it's set. You can just leave it in the middle if you like, but I like to get to all them little awkward corners. I mean, obviously, if you're doing it with kids, they're not going to do it like this. No, they're going to shove it on and hope for the best. I have got a bit of hot water here. I'm dipping my knife in, and I'm just going to shake it off just so that I can smooth it off. I mean, if you've got a um, small spatula, even like an offset spatula, it will work perfectly. I have, I've just not got it out. Not everybody has. But it just shows you can do it with a knife as well. And you can just then decorate with all different... Christmas sprinkles. So I'm going to finish these ones off and then we'll bring you back to obviously taste them. That icing will set. Yes, it will, obviously. yeah. And here you go. We have all decorated them. 
and the ice what's left i've actually just put a um food bag over it just so it doesn't I didn't go hard i did decorate all this i did the yeah because you, you go. slap it on that's the whole idea of it kids ain't going to do it all professionally grab one and give it a go okay this is what they look like Hmm. Oh. We have them one each. Yeah. They're not quite set yet. Yeah. Hello, Mum. Hmm. Hmm. Nice and soft. Hmm. Tastes the mixed spice in it. Yeah. Mm. Can taste spice. Mmm, yeah. Delicious. So, yeah. Mm. Oh, um, that's it. Cook this um, number eight, I think. I lose track, so I've been writing it down on my pad, on my paper. Yep, day eight. So, it's confusing after knowing what day <laughs> um yeah so if you enjoyed that video give it a big thumbs up please subscribe if you haven't already um turn the bell notification on so you get notified whenever we upload a video and we will catch you guys tomorrow with cookmas number nine bye, bye.